we've got we've got Matt S asks I am very new to game development and as a solo developer what tools slash equipment do you recommend or you think are necessary to get started well awesome that's a great question first of all and congrats on on jumping into game development that's pretty cool solo development is uh it's hard for sure but it's it's very rewarding and i think there are a lot of really cool things that you can do uh equipment is equipment is tough you can get into trouble with equipment because you always think you don't quite have enough equipment and you're looking for the next thing the truth is equipment it's just tools right you're as a game developer you're no different than the carpenter who's creating a chair in the garage right you have certain tools that you use to do what you do um certain tools make it faster more efficient but at the end of the day you could probably get it done with you know two things right obviously the most important thing you need as a game developer is uh is a computer if you're making video games that is and you need something that is uh as as most tools should be help make your job easier for me an easier job is a job that is more efficient and allows me to create right because you're creating as a as a game developer tools tools are not good when they make your job tougher and you have to sort of reconfigure your entire process to to fit them in um so think about that if you're thinking about new equipment at the core uh at the most basic you need a computer that is fast you need something that is not going to slow you down uh, or get in your way and can handle although for the most part most decent computers are going to be able to handle um you know a basic 2d 3d game right but you don't want something that's going to crash. You don't want something that's going to uh, chug along when you're trying to get something done and you have this great idea and you can't even get the program to react to you. This is probably more of an issue for someone that's using uh, you know, Unreal or, or Unity because they're more demanding programs. Gato's pretty lightweight and you can run it on a, potato for the most part so when it comes to uh computers get a solid cpu um get a a good gpu because you're working on graphics so you need that uh at least 16 gigs of ram is important a big thing for me is having enough visual space and so that comes in the form of multiple monitors i cannot stress enough at least for myself how important it is to be able to see everything that you're working on and not have to constantly click on different windows. Um, for example, uh, I've got a, a, a three monitor setup. Um, I've got one that's uh, right here in the middle. That's where my editor goes. Uh, so if I'm working on a, a level, I can see it. I've got all my scene stuff over there. It's all visible. It's the biggest one I've got right here in the middle. Over here on the right side, I have another monitor that is dedicated to if I'm running anything from the editor. That's going to pop up over there. I can see it. I can use it. I can test. But I still have the editor right in front of me so I can make changes. And then on the left side, I've got the, the long one. And I usually put uh, the script window right over there. I can see all that. So I can see at the same time my editor and everything that goes with that, my script that I'm working on, and the game running. So I can see all of those things. If you just have one monitor, your game pops up. Maybe it's full screen. If it's not, it's in a window. You got to hide it. You got to go to another window and then you got to flip back and forth. You can't even see your outputs. It sucks. I don't like it. So if you have the budget and the space, uh, get a, a really, I guess, solid desk because it's it's some weight. Get one of those arms that, that can branch off for, or multiple arms to hold the monitors. And then... Get at least two, right? Um, one, you, you can get away with one. You absolutely can do it. But you're going to work a lot faster if you got more than one. That's my experience. And uh, 
if there was one thing that I would be really, really sad if I didn't have, it would be multiple monitors. You know, more of your, your tool aspect, you're doing a lot of things when it comes to game development. You're working on graphics, you're working on art, you're working on sound, you're working on music, you're marketing, you're creating a web page or a Steam page and a Twitter and all those other things. There's a lot of things that you're going to be doing, right? Uh, in terms of tools, I would suggest a tool to help you organize. Uh, you can just use pencil and paper. That's fine. Um, I kind of tend to just use Google Drive and have a lot of documents in there. A lot of people use Notion. A lot of people use Trello. Those are all sort of organization tools for you. So if you're looking for ways to sort of organize your thoughts, keep track of what you're working on, those are great options. Now, if you're working on graphics, Blender is the way to go. Open source, free, amazing, does a lot of great stuff. Learn it, get used to it, love it, let it soak in. Just let it, let it blend. There you go. Um, video. Well, we're not, we're not at video yet. Let's think about uh, sound. If you're working on sound, Audacity, a lot of people use Audacity. That's a, a pretty good tool. Honestly, you can get a lot of um, DAWs or, or digital audio workstations pretty uh, cheaply these days. I, I use Personas Studio One, and it's okay. It's not great. I don't, I don't super love it, but it's decently lightweight. Um, if you're doing any video editing for, for marketing or capturing video of your game while you're making it or, or to market it, uh, I use OBS. OBS is a great uh, screen capture tool, open source, free. Uh, so use that to, to grab any footage of your game. And then I use DaVinci Resolve, which is also free, to, to edit any videos. Um, in fact, I'm going to be editing this video in DaVinci, and I'm using OBS to record it. Um, let's see, um, other, other equipment. A nice chair, you're gonna be sitting, or standing, you could get a, a, get a standing desk, I have one, um, so you can stand, because that's, that's good, you don't wanna sit too long, but you're gonna be at a computer a lot, get a good chair. You don't wanna be uncomfortable that also sucks. But I think at the end of the day, if you have a, a solid computer and visual space, again, remember the monitors are important, that you're, you're going to be fine. You're going to be good. The, the main thing you're going to run into is uh, burnout, really, because it's a, it's a lot to undertake. It's a lot to constantly run into things you don't know how to do and to be okay with that. And not only be okay with it, but to push forward and figure it out. So in terms of uh, a tool, just persistence. Persistence and continuing and uh, pushing through things you don't, don't understand and knowing that you can still do them even though you don't know how. Like, you will learn. And uh, to me, that, that's part of the fun. That's the, that's the fun thing about game development is there's so much to know and do. Uh, you're just constantly... You're constantly running into things that you uh, are challenged with to, to understand. And it's, it's fun to learn. What a cool thing to have the privilege to learn how to do, to, to make games, right? Um, so yeah, so persistence. That's maybe the most important tool, really. Being able to keep going, you know? So congrats on, on jumping into the, the game dev world. It's, uh, it's, it can start out shallow, but the pool gets deep if you go too far. So go gradual. And uh, just have fun, right? Have fun with it. So this question was actually uh, given to me by a viewer. I had asked some random viewers 
if they'd like to send in questions. Some people did. So we're going to be doing some, some Q and A's. Uh, so if you got a question about game development, uh, any aspect at all about uh, creating, being creative, working, solo development, life, what have you, go ahead and ask it in the comments. And uh, yeah, let's, um, let's start, start a conversation. It'd be fun. Oh, and as always, keep creating.